Good morning. My name is Sasha Frere Jones. I'm here in New York City. I'm talking to Bill Callahan and Will Oldham about their new album, Blind Date Party, on Drag City Records and Tapes. We started the tour out in Denver, Colorado. So this is my thesis. And it's in fact, it's maybe more entertaining if I'm wrong. Spending time with this thing for the last two days, it kind of feels like this project is a summation of the last 30 years of indie rock. And I don't mean that in a facetious or a funny way at all. I mean that you guys all called on your friends, you helped each other, you covered each other's songs. It's the kind of thing that I don't think would happen without a, a lot of hullabaloo with say 30 major label musicians. I mean, the fact that it happened this way sort of embodies and reflects what's been going on for, you know, Drag City is roughly 30 years old. I think we've all had careers for roughly 30 years. Um, so to me, that that's kind of what this whole album is about. It'd be great if we could clear out the rest of indie rock history and just, just have this stand for the last 30 years. I, I'd be happy with that. We can get rid of the other records. This is it. This all is the last them. record. Yeah. I've been trying to think, you know, I, like for years, I've thought that it would be really handy if we had some sort of a term you know some sort of a, a school of thought or a school of practice you know so that there could be more shorthand when describing some of the things that go on that are related to drag city and recently it's okay but my my term that i came up with is compost rock i like yeah. that that's very good and this is good this is a lot of good compost in here lots and lots of good compost and this is from having lived like 25 feet from here. There's a raised bed and we use our compost. And at the middle of the summer, a squash plant started to grow out of the raised bed and some tomato plants that came from the compost and produced these massive squash and tomatoes from we don't even know where, like when, where, what, what meal we threw that away. And that's kind of what this record is also. In the blackness of the night, I seem to wander endlessly With a hope burning out deep inside When did the whole thing begin? What was the beginning of the beginning? It was probably around April or May. That... I think April. April. The... Uh, Will had the idea, I think just because of the pandemic, it seemed like something that everybody could uh, sink their hearts into. So it covered the lots of the bands and the employees and just gave us a purpose in life for a couple of months. <laughs> and, uh, but we had our list of so songs. So we came up, we came up with the idea of, of how to select songs. And it was that Bill and I each came up with nine songs that fit like um it included one cover of each other's songs so that we would make a mechanical royalty and then songs that i wanted uh to give myself the opportunity to sing in this situation songs that i would love to hear bill, bill sing and then songs that could be broken down into um duets proper duets where we're trading off and you know and then the the opposite for bill songs that he wanted to sing songs that he wanted to hear me sing and then Good duet material. Do you remember some of the songs that you came up with first, either of you? Like what ju what jumped into your mind immediately? Um, pretty much everything for me. Like it was when I first you know, the first second of finding out that I had to pick these songs I was kind of like, fuck, like, this is a big thing. But then I just, they just kind of rolled out of me, I think, very quickly. Um, yeah, something like I Love You, the Jerry Jeff Walker song. Um, I probably wanted to hear Will, unconsciously wanted to hear Will sing that. Um, for years, you know. <laughs> um, you know I love you. I can sing it though. I love you. <laughs> and I love you. 
A couple of months before, I think in November, December, I had heard the Johnny Frierson miracles on the radio and, and thought, and immediately both my wife and I were, thought, this sounds like Bill wrote this song. And so I texted Bill and said, have you heard this song? Because we think that you wrote this song. Huh. And he, he, you know, and he knew it and had a, had a sentimental uh, association with it. So that also immediately, I just thought, oh, now I get to hear Bill sing his own Johnny Frierson song. Yeah, my wife, uh, my wife put that on a mixtape for me when we were uh, dating. If you believe in, if you try, you can do anything. You can do them. Miracles. Out of all the decisions we had to make for the record and the promotion and everything, like pretty much agreed on almost everything kind of remarkably, I think. You know, early on in the process, once, you know, there were a lot of moving parts with this. Um, and it it became evident that it was unnecessary and, and even uninteresting for us to constantly respond to everything and converse about everything together. So we started trading off weeks where all emails and phone calls one week would go to me and every decision I made surrounding all of these things Bill was going to be good with and and then Bill's week would be the following week because it was interesting and exciting. I you know I I couldn't wait till my week off was over and I could come back and and see how he had rearranged our bedroom, uh, but also because it was, you know, at this point, I, you know, after so many years of, of watching Bill's work and knowing Bill, it's just, there's implicit trust. guys had to choose three more songs for like the deluxe Japanese box set what would you choose to cover if three is too big a number make it one well can we include songs we already because the Jerry Jeff Walker thing kind of spawned uh, we did a couple other songs of his with uh, Nathan Salzberg on guitar that came out like on a single on a oh, little bird yeah and letter letter to friends yeah those i think i i love those thank you for being beautiful in my time that's something real to evaluate all my life Someone was trying to tell me yesterday that we evolved to dance, that our bodies are, are made, they function best when you dance with regularity. Yeah, I, like that. I think like I, I've got a one year old girl and yeah, I didn't teach her to dance, but she'll dance to the coffee grinder, you know, like a grind coffee and she's like starts this groove and it's like, yeah, it is definitely like just implanted in us. Um, but that's, that's interesting, evolved to dance. So that would explain why we stood up. Well, you can dance on all fours, can you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can't. Every 
fallen leaf in a compact mirror It's a target that we can't see Cause Astro's in the ice box